The other day I saw a story that came out about a artist by the name of Lil Nas X. Now this young brother, he have a song called Old Town Road. And if you heard that song, it's his version of a country song. And the song, like I said, I like it, it is different. And I love to hear different genres of music done by us because you know, they, they try to put us in this one little box and we are very creative people. And so this young brother's song got all the way up to number 15 on the country music charts with billboard billboard decided to pull his record. Now I pull this record because they say, Oh, it's not country enough to be on the billboard. Who determines that if he say his music is country, I heard it. It sound country to me the way he's singing it, but they took him off. But prior to this happening to Lil Nas X, Beyonce had done a country song and they took issue with her. Now we talking about Beyonce, superstar Beyonce, sold millions and millions of records Beyonce. But back in 2016, we put this up. She had a song called Daddy Lessons and that was supposed to be a country song and it was rejected by the Grammys. Now this is Beyonce. Beyonce can sing anything, okay? And then you see that Beyonce CMA award performance becomes the target of backlash. Those folks that follows the CMAs and we have to talk about what it is. I saw it at the time period is majority white folks. They were pissed off about Beyonce doing that performance. Superstar Beyonce, okay? They didn't want Beyonce coming into country music or what their rendition of country music is. They feel that that's their territory and they don't want no Negroes around. So Beyonce, you know, she didn't make too much of a stink about it. She kind of just went on and did her thing, but they treated Beyonce very, very racist. Now you bring it back to Lil Nas X and then he was dealing with the same thing. Billboard pulls his record. Then what happens? Then he gets on a remix. He gets Billy Ray Cyrus on the remix. Now Billy Ray Cyrus said when he heard the song and he was asked to be a part of it, he was happy to be a part of it. And he said it sounded country to him. So he got on there and a lot of people love the remix of Billy Ray Cyrus. I heard it. I like it too. And then now, as you can see, it went up to number one on the billboard chart real quick, but they did not want to put him back in the country list where he was supposed to be. Now he said his form of music is called country trap music. Okay. And I believe that he should continue that genre of music country trap and let other people, you know, follow suit in the community. That's fine because I'm so sick and tired of mumble rap. I'm sick of that crap. I can't understand nothing you're saying. It's stupid. I mean, I don't think it's like, look, catchy hooks that you're doing, but you can't go far with that. You can't look up and 20 years later remember some mumble rapper, but you can remember, you know, Tupac, because Tupac was no mumble rapper. You can remember Biggie, you can remember Nas, you can remember a whole lot of people. Because their songs are, first of all, understood by everybody. Let's just go there. So this little brother is experiencing racism in the music industry. And I said, Oh, all of a sudden, cause Billy Ray did jumped on it. Now billboard want to give him praise. I said, boy, they, I said, they just straight exposing their hand with racism. The thing is black people contribute to the music industry a lot more than most. They do. They have made trillions of dollars off of black artists from way back when until now. And the thing is they want to be the gatekeepers and tell black folks what music you could be in. Like, okay, black people, you can be in R and B, you can be in hip hop. That's you right there. But you, we don't want you coming into this country music. We sure don't want you to come into this rock and roll when black people created rock and roll music. But, but now black people don't do certain genres of music anymore. Like they used to just like black people used to play. You want to talk about sports. They were big in baseball. Huge. I mean, the Negro League was so huge that the, the white owned Major League Baseball wanted to get Negro League players, and the Negro League was making more money than their baseball. And then all of a sudden, now the Negro League is gone. 
My thing is we need to get back to doing the things that we used to do, like creating new genres of music. Or if a brother or sister want to get into doing rock, let them do it. Because you know good and well, when we put our spin on it, everybody eventually gonna like it. You know that. We just have that kind of ability. So I support his version of, called country trap music. We need more country trap artists. We should have more brothers and sisters getting into rock. Like make them irrelevant. And you know good and well, that's what they're trying to do. Because that little Nas X in into the country section and his streams, which is doing a lot better than the streams of their so-called country artists, oh, they're going to lose out. And they, don't, they know that. They don't want to let us insert things because they know we take over. So we should take it over. I mean, Lil Nas X, gonna, he, people are going to see his success with this one record, and they're going to be like, oh, man, I could do the same thing. And that's usually how it goes. But if they discriminate against Beyonce, which is a major superstar, not this young brother, but he's being successful in spite of that. Let me tell you something. One thing racists can't stand is that when they attack you, then you soar. That hurts them worse than anything else. And if you haven't heard Old Town Road, go listen to it. You can listen to it you know, on your streaming services. Like I said, the remix, I think, is even better with Billy Ray Cyrus, if you want to be honest. But you know, support that young brother because they're trying to keep black people out of different genres of music, and it's all due to racism. But leave me a comment, let me know what you think about this situation with Lil Nas X. But understand something, these people have racism in every industry. That's why we have to call it out as we see it.